Hey everyone, Andrig with Andrig's Air Cool Technology. I uh, just want to do a quick uh, product update on some changes that I've made um, to the cooling fan components, the Evolution 2 cooling kit components. And um, I'm going to grab an old one and a new one. Um, the vendor that I work with for materials uh, um, and also my printers came out with a updated material and specifically the material that I use to print the fans. So this is one printed in the original material. This is one printed uh, in the new material that's going to go out to a customer tomorrow. Um, I don't know if you can really tell the difference. The one in the new material is maybe slightly darker, slightly shinier, but, um, but they basically look the same and obviously they will function the same. Uh, the difference with the new material is not that it's made differently in terms of its composition. It's got the same carbon fiber. It has the same uh, thermoplastic underneath. Uh, all of that is the same. The way they manufacture the filament they changed and updated in such a way that it improves both the speed at which you can print them, so I'm now printing these significantly faster, which is great because uh, I have a pretty large backlog of orders and want to get through that, so I'm being able to print them faster. Um, and uh, the other thing that's the, really the biggest significant difference is the Z-axis strength. So the fan prints this way, not, not this way or this way, but this way on the print bed. So the Z-axis is going up and down this direction. And that's the always the weakest part of any 3D printed part. So, um, you know, the strength is plenty good. It passed all, with my original material, passed all of my torture testing on my test engine, 8,000 crankshaft RPM, you know, 12,800 uh, RPM at the fan. You know, the edge of these, the outer edge of this fan is at that speed is traveling at 95 miles per hour, right? So, um, but the the airflow stress actually stresses in the Z direction. So it's good to have extra strength in that direction. Um, so like I said, that's the biggest change to this. The material is a little bit more expensive. Uh, it's about two cents a gram more expensive. So the cost of the part for me to produce it is, you know, uh, a little over four dollars more. Uh, but I'm not raising prices to accomplish that. I am actually have been able to save money in some other ways to kind of recoup that. So, uh, so I don't have to raise the prices on these, which is great. But you just get a more bulletproof, stronger you know, fan. I, I don't even know that I could tell you anymore what the RPM limit is, because that's a common question. Obviously, I tested to 8,000, and it passed just fine, uh, even with the old material, with this material. Um, who knows, with a 92% you know, increase in the strength in the Z direction, um, you know, I don't know that there's a, a Type 1 engine around that can rev high enough uh, to blow this thing apart. So, um, so that's really good news, and I think it just makes the product even more bulletproof. You don't have to worry about it, and uh, um, you know, it's just nice in terms of additive manufacturing to be able to do that just switch out of material. So uh, I have this past week or so, I've been slowly getting rid of the old material producing product in the old material and transitioning to the new material. All orders going out now are going out only exclusively on the new material since I've used up uh, my um, stash of the original material. So that's really good news and I hope you guys enjoy that and uh, uh, you're just going to have a more bulletproof product. Um, I also made a change, wanted to make a change to the inlets. Um, I had a few, a handful, um, not probably not even five, but people that uh, where the inlet broke on them, and it broke on them, you know, here, kind of, you know, this, you know, flange here, which is what, you know, you bolted onto the alternator or generator with, right? Um, that area broke. So, um, so in that case, what I did is I really beefed up this part of the product. So it's a lot thicker than it was before. It's twice the thickness that it was before. Um, so it's more rigid and 
What's really nice too about, about how these are coming out now, I did get a new printer. I'm going to get another new printer um, in my print farm. And the new printers that I'm printing this on um, actually print the part considerably cleaner than what I've been shipping out. So that's also so this in, interior smoothness of this is is much improved. The overall smoothness generally is improved on the velocity uh, uh, stack po portion as well. So it's just a cleaner print, much nicer, and it's tougher. And I've been shipping the the new uh, version of this for for more than a month now. And and for the people who had breakages. I'm shipping replacements for them that have the thicker uh, flange. So they're all getting taken care of in terms of having the, the newer product. Uh, most people didn't have a problem. So, um, But if you do have a problem with that and it does break, you can always contact me uh, and I'll set you up with something new. So you know, that's really pretty much uh, what's going on in terms of materials and printers and, and just improving the product. So thanks for all the business. It's been great. Uh, the reception has been great. I think word is spreading about the product and how well it works. Um, and uh, one thing that I want to just put in as an anecdote is I did have a customer in Australia actually give me their data for the improvement in cooling, which was really nice, um, in their engine. I forget the engine size, but it was a pretty large engine and they're in a very hot part of Australia. And... Uh, the improvement that he told me, oil temperatures dropped by five to six degrees Celsius. So that's almost 40 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So I think six degrees is like 37.4 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So in, in oil temps, uh, when he's just cruising around and then under, under load, like wide open throttle up hills and that kind of stuff is about four degrees so Celsius um, uh, on his oil temps. And he just, he told me that uh, it saved him from having to actually buy an external oil cooler and add additional oil cooling. So that's just a, you know, a, a kind of a good testimonial by that customer and how it improved the situation for him uh, with his oil temps dropping a lot. So uh, you're talking about you know, uh, almost 40 degrees Fahrenheit drop in oil temperature. That is big. So, uh, you know, I knew that it would do well, but it's very hard to predict how it's going to do for any given customer. Um, so, uh, so it's kind of beyond my expectations, but great. Um, so, look forward to that too. If you have one of these, your cooling is going to definitely improve, and it's going to improve, you know, uh, by quite a bit. So, um, so that's great. So, appreciate all the business once again. Thank you, guys, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.